advertisement Michelle Trachtenberg has updated her statement on the accusations against Jaws the actress, who played Dawn Summers on Buffy the Vampire Slayer from 2000 to 2003, is adding to a previous statement she made in the wake of her co-star's allegations against the series creator. Get push notifications with news, features and more. Follow follow and yell get the latest updates on this topic in your browser notification. On Thursday, Trachtenberg, 35, said that there was a rule on the Buffy set that Whedon, 56, could not be alone with her after an unnamed incident. The last comment I will make on this. Once, there was a rule, saying, Hess not allowed in a room alone with Michelle again. The Gossip Girl actress did not go into detail about what led to the alleged rule, or who enacted it. A rep for Whedon did not immediately respond to S request for comment regarding Trachtenberg's statement she made there. Trachtenberg's original post was a repost of star Sarah Michelle Geller's statement, which said she did not want to be associated with Whedon and that she stands with all survivors of abuse and am proud of them for speaking at Trachtenberg wrote in her caption, Thank you at Sarah Geller for saying this. I am brave enough now as a 35-year-old woman dot to repost this. Because. This must. As a teenager. With his not appropriate behavior dot very. Not. Appropriate. So now. Peek what Jaws. Did. Geller and Trachtenberg's comments came after Charisma Carpenter, who played Cordelia Chase, accused Whedon of abusing his power on the set of the WB. Carpenter shared a lengthy statement on Twitter Wednesday sharing details of Whedon's alleged behavior. The actress said that at one point, Whedon asked her if she planned to keep her baby after learning she was pregnant, and ultimately fired her shortly after she gave to stay up to date on the best of what has to offer, from juicy celebrity news to compelling human interest story. He proceeded to attack my character, mock my religious beliefs, accuse me of sabotaging the show, and then unceremoniously fired me the following season once I gave birth. Back then, I felt powerless and alone, Carpenter said in the statement. With no other option, I swallowed the mistreatment and carried on. Whedon was accused by actor Ray Fisher last year of being gross, abusive, unprofessional, and completely unacceptable while they worked together on Justice League in 2017. An internal investigation by Warner Media followed Fisher's claims, which Carpenter parted. When the investigation concluded in December 2020, the company said that remedial action has been taken. In a response to Carpenter's allegations Wednesday, Fisher called the actress one of the bravest. I am forever grateful for her courage and for her lending her voice to the Justice League investigation, he said on Twitter. Read her truth. Share her truth. Protect her at all costs.